have you in it too. You gotta be part of this shit. Straight face. Straight face. What's up, guys? Welcome to the channel. Today we're working on Matt's S10. Go ahead, get some exhaust work done. We got some of his pipes welded up. Look at them pretty welds right there. That beautiful right there. So yeah, working on getting his eBay headers collector around the control arm, down, straight back, without hitting anything, melting anything, burning up wires, catching the truck on fire, like we've already tried to do. Um, he got some cuts right here. That's what we're working with. And we're thinking He's got two marks. I'm gonna put those marks right there. There's a massive gap because we had to cut off the the flared end that's supposed to fit on it because once we got it all welded up, it was hanging like a foot below the truck. So we cut that off and get it all welded up and hopefully it looks good and doesn't hit anything or burn anything. So we got some welding done on Matt's exhaust. Get it to weld real quick. Not the purdy. Well, that's Matt right there. <laughs> Not the purdiest welds, but they'll stay. They'll stick. They'll hold. No gaps. Got his collector. I'm gonna try to throw up. We got driver's side completely done, collector and everything. Passenger side, we still gotta weld the collector on the other side. We'll get it all up there, get it mounted, get it strapped in, and then we'll do a little fire up and show you guys how it sounds. Hopefully the audio picks up pretty decent. Highly doubt it will, but we're going to finish this up and we'll show you when we're done. So we finally got the exhaust all welded up, bolted up, tucked up, everywhere it needs to be. Matt's putting on the battery right now, getting that all tightened up. Now we're going to give it a good fire. See what she sounds like. So we got the transmission fluid drained. We're about to pop off the, the cover, check the gasket, see how bad it really is. Probably just gonna RTV it this time because cork gaskets generally leak quite a bit. But Matt got a couple other little things for the truck. He got a radiator cap that vents to release some pressure if he ever has to check it or fill it or anything like that. He also got, where's that little filter you got? You got one of these crankcase vent filters. What do you guys think about that? Comment down below. Do you guys use those? Do you like them? Would you rather just use a catch can or let it recirc back into the intake like it's supposed to? Um, comment down below. Let me know what you think, what you use. And uh, I guess we're going to get this down, take a look, see what it looks like, and get that gasket on. So we got the pan off and it looks like fluid was leaking from the bolt holes. We're thinking they probably over tightened it. We got it dropped out. Got it all off. And if you look, looks like right there you can see it where it's coming through the bolt holes looks like it was trying to push its way through to get out so we definitely think it was the gasket that was causing the issue so we're just gonna RTV it this time let it cure for 
about 24 hours a day, maybe two. And uh, then we'll fill it up, start it up, and see how it holds. So we got our RTV right here. We already clipped the tip, got it all ready. Got the pan all cleaned up. Now we're just gonna lay a nice bead. Get some of that forearm strength. So as you can see, we got the pan up, got all the bolts on, got the shifter linkage on. Now we'll just let it cure overnight, come back tomorrow, put some fluid in it, fire it up, and we'll see how everything goes. So we got the transmission fluid in, checked all the levels, we got a dirty screen. That off. It's probably all hazy now. It's a good old lick and get that thing cleaned off. So yeah, we got the transmission fluid in. We got everything tightened up. Ran it for a little bit. Found a leak in a couple of lines. Tighten those up. Let it idle for a little bit longer. Circulate. Uh, no more leaks. Everything should be good. We're going to take a test drive and go get some gas real quick. So we made it to the gas station. Everything seems like it's going good. Uh, still set on auto-tune. Just as a as a precaution so he's not running anything wrong for too long it should adjust automatically uh, I don't know where he's gonna take it to get it tuned or anything like that but so far so good we'll uh, we'll get some gas here head home and then uh, I think I think we should have a little surprise here for the end of the video but so far so good We made it back home. Everything looks good at the truck. Oil pressure is running a little bit low. He thinks he's got some fuel because it was running really rich when he first got it all together. But uh, I think we're going to end it off here.